Hello and welcome back to Rainbow Six. So today I'm going to be trying out one of the new operators. There were two new operators recently added that I never got the chance to try out until now. One has white hair and she looks weird. And then the other one's some guy called Oryx. Uh, I'll show you here. We've got, what's her name? Iana. Iana. And I think she's Finnish or Dutch. Yeah, I think she's Dutch. And she has a special ability called Gemini Replicator. Um, but who cares? I'll do that in a different video. This video is about the defender called Oryx. He's the new defender. Oh, I didn't get the other guy. Wamai. Huh. I forgot about him. Anyway, Oryx. Let's see what he's about. His special move is Rema Rema Dash, and he does a fast dash that allows for faster roaming breaches, breakable walls, and pushes back opponents. So I'm going to try out this character, see what it's like, and then hopefully be able to give you some kind of uh, user's guide on how to use this character, which will help you in your Rainbow Six gameplay. And for his loadouts, we've got a an MP5 submachine gun and Spaz 12 shotgun. Pretty standard loadout submachine gun plus shotgun. I usually like to go with these submachine guns when I'm defending, although sometimes shotguns can also be enjoyable. And for the sights, red dots, holographic reflex. Um, I don't really understand the difference between reflex and red dot. They just seem to do the same things but they have a different colour and different shaped dot. I quite like holographic, but the size of the sights, look at this, it's so big, it kind of gets in the way. It obstructs your view, so I kind of like reflex. Yeah, you look at the description, it says replaces iron sights with a one times triangular ret reticle sight, and then also a red dot does one times dot sight, so what is the difference? I guess it depends if you like green or red. I like green. And for the barrel, um, might go for the suppressor. It does reduce damage by 5, but I don't think 5 is much. Yeah, I think suppressor is good. And for the secondary weapon... Hmm... How many shots does it fire? 12 bullets. Oh, this is the shotgun pistol, which is quite fun to use. I might take the shotgun pistol. I don't like using laser sights because the enemy can see your laser shining on the wall, so it gives you away. And I think I'll go for the bulletproof camera for loadout. Have a look at the headgear. He just has a face paint. Uniforms. I think his uniform is kind of boring, isn't it? It's just like a black vest. Not very interesting. I feel like this character design is not that interesting. He just looks like some guy wearing a vest. A bit bland. Anyway, let's try and get a match going. Oh, there's this new special game mode coming out soon called The Grand Larceny. Not really sure what it's about. I think it's shotguns only, and then you can make holes in the floor and there's no metal beams and you have to get boxes or something like that. Doesn't really interest me, I like the the standard mode. Standard modes. Hopefully I can choose Oryx straight away. Please don't take it. Yes! Got him. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha. Oh man, I had such such a roller coaster ride of a day yesterday and today. I had this massive conversation with Mila. So first of all, I don't really want to go into it in detail. So first of all, she cancelled us meeting because she felt pressured. And she wasn't happy about stuff like being involved with YouTube drama. And then I managed to change her mind by telling her that we don't have to take the relationship so seriously. 
we can slow things down a bit. We don't have to be in such a rush to be together. I feel like we were getting ahead of ourselves. We were kind of like planning our futures together and living together in Korea. Even though we've only met, we've only been together for like three weeks. And then she's also kind of worried about my cheating history. She thinks, she's scared that I might cheat on her if we do get into a relationship. Which is all completely understandable. Anyway, uh, Netherlands trip is back on. Managed to change her mind by suggesting a, th a few things. See, it just goes to show you can always fix things by talking. And just because she sends you a big wall of text, that's all doom and gloom. And it seems like it's over. It doesn't mean it's 100% over. There's always a chance to turn things around. So, ha so luckily, thankfully, managed to turn that around. Uh, I think everything's fine. Back on track for the ne Netherlands trip. Oh, I hate having to say that country name. Anyway, back to Rainbow Six. Oryx, let me show you his special ability. He does like a little dash forwards. And he has three that you can use in a row and then they slowly charge up so you can break through walls like this but then you take 10 damage isn't that funny he just ran straight through into the wall makes a massive hole he must be really really strong it seems kind of unrealistic though doesn't it I don't think it matters how big and strong you are what are the chances of being able to just run into a wall and then burst out the other side Look at that hole, it's an egg-shaped hole. Now the nice thing about this dash thing is, you can escape. Um, when you're being shot at, you can quickly do a dash into a different direction. And the dash is pretty quick. And most of the time when I've tried it, he is able to dodge out the way of incoming fire. And you can also dash into the enemies and knock them down. Even even operators using shields, they get knocked down as well. I didn't actually do anything this round. <laughs> Hopefully next round I'll be able to show you the knocking down in action. It's pretty funny. And the most annoying thing is when you come up against attackers who have shields. But if you dash into them, you actually knock them over, which is pretty nice. Hopefully, hopefully I can show you next time instead of just talking about Mila. Okay, round two. Another trick is you could hide in the corner like this and then wait for an enemy to come out the side and then just dash at them like this. You can also dash into objects and it smashes them into bits which is pretty funny as well. Quite entertaining. I think he's quite a fun character to play if you enjoy roaming, which I do enjoy. I find it kind of boring when you're defending, just hiding in the room, waiting for the enemy to come. I like running around like a lunatic, like like a raging bull on steroids. And that's what this character is great for. You just run around like this and then you see an enemy you just dash into them knock them over Oh crap. Someone has a shield that I can show you. Oh no I can't. <laughs> Nearly died. I'm safe, I'm safe. Oh shit, someone's coming here. Where'd he go? Whoa. Yeah, the reflex sight is pretty nice. It's not too obtrusive. Two of them left. I was hoping to knock down this shielded guy so I can show you, but someone else took him out. Ooh. 
Whoa. Yeah, I don't think anything's gonna happen. Someone's hiding outside. If you remain in this zone, you will be detected by hostiles. Your location has been compromised. Op for last stop standing. You will be detected if you remain in this area. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, look. <laughs> I nearly got her. 